Hi, it's Sandy Wiley. Welcome to my mental health channel, 50 Shades of Black and White, where I talk about my own mental health disorder, borderline personality disorder. I talk about other mental health issues, narcissism, schizophrenia, post-traumatic stress disorder, um, bipolar. I talk about therapies and my own personal experience as a patient of 20 years. What I am not is a psychologist. I do not have a medical degree. I do not have a degree in psychology, so I cannot give you a professional opinion. I can only give you my personal opinions and thoughts as a patient. I try to wipe, wipe away, <laughs> wipe away the stigma of mental illness because it's been a stigma for too long. I want to bring it out of the closet and I want to address it with you and I want to talk about it and talk about my own experiences. I only ask that you be kind to me, to yourself and everyone else in the comments. We don't have to agree, but we, we only have to agree to be kind, considerate, and respectful. I will not take anything less than that. If you say something mean and offensive and meant to hurt, your comment will go poof. <laughs> if you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, welcome to 50 Shades of Black and White. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. It's absolutely free. Today's video, what I'm going to talk about is taking back control of your life. Now, this video, I'm coming forward to you as um, a person who has borderline personality disorder. But this video is not just only for people who have borderline personality disorder. This video is not just only for people who have mental illness. This video... Every, anyone and everyone could benefit from how to how to take back control of your life how to put yourself in the driver's seat because many people are not in the driver's seat of their own life many people are doing jobs that they're not happy about many people are making money for other people and you know why do people say oh i can't wait for the weekend i can't wait for the weekend there's only one reason I say I can't wait for the weekend because I'm dying to see my special needs son who has traumatic brain injury, um, Alex. I don't see him all week. You know, he's in a day program and he lives in a residential house for, with other disabled men. And I don't get to see him till Saturday and Sunday. So that's why I say I, I, say I can't wait for the weekend. But every day... Um, since I've taken back control of my life, I'm doing exactly what I love to do, which is authoring books. I have over three dozen books out on Amazon. People buy them. Um, every month I get maybe half a dozen people. I mean, I don't get droves of people buying them. Doing this YouTube channel, which I absolutely love i feel very passionate about being here with you sharing with you and even more importantly you sharing with me now men have written me that have um this um uh, this personality disorder borderline and like i'm really excited to hear from men that have this because i've never known a man with it now i do you know someone has written who said he is a man and i'm so excited that you know this is an exchange. This is what we do here. We share. And this is what makes it so exciting that I've developed a community where I share my experiences with you and you in turn share your experiences with me and we learn from each other. So I quit that, you know, nine to five job. Oh, it was grueling, 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 you know. I, you know, I had, I had to, I had a boss. I got paid minimum wage. I got paid minimum wage. Um, and I just hated, hated, hated it. You know, I never, um, I had to follow their rules, you know, like the matrix, you know, I was like a puppet 
Now I broke free of that. I am out on my own, making my own money, but I'm my own boss. I have my own hours. And more importantly, is I'm doing what I'm passionate about. And that's the very first thing to take control of your life. Doing what you feel passionate about. So you don't say, oh God, it's Monday again. Oh, I hate Mondays. Me? You know what? I love Mondays. I love Tuesdays. I love Wednesdays. I love Thursdays. I love Fridays. I look forward especially the Saturday and Sunday because I get to be with my special son, Alex. But I never, ever say I hate Monday, ever, ever since I left that nine to five matrix, you know, hole and did what I want to do, became my own boss, make my own money, don't work for anyone but me, Sandra Lee Wiley, me, myself and I, <laughs> and not Irene. <laughs> so that's the first thing to take back control of your life. You've got to do something that you're passionate about. All right. Don't be going through the motions. All right. You, I mean, if you say to me, I have to, right. I, I have to, because I need the money. You can make your own money. You can live on much less. People think that they need all this money to live. You know, that's not true. It's not true. You don't need all this money to live. All right. I'm just telling you, you can get rid of a lot of things that, uh, um, that suck money up. You know, you can ride a moped, um, or a bicycle instead of getting a car. Um, uh, mopeds aren't that much money. You get to use one and they get you around really, really fast. <laughs> you want to get around town. Uh, you don't need, you know, some people don't even have cable. You don't need cable, you know, you don't need it. Uh, you have internet. That's great. Why do you need cable? I don't even watch the hundred, uh, like a hundred channels. I mean, wasn't there a song like something like all these channels and nothing's on. It's like you're paying all this money. You can live frugally and do exactly what you want to do. And that's getting control. That's getting back control of your life. Do what you want to do. Don't be, you know, if you're going, if you're waking up every morning, dreading it, dreading going into your job, dreading your boss, you know, dreading you're not, you're not valued. You're not appreciated, you know, and, and most of the time you're not even making that much money. I wasn't making that much money when I had one of those jobs. I wasn't. So I left that and I never looked back. I never looked back. I am happy right now pursuing my passions in writing my books, doing my videos. You know, that takes up like practically my whole day. And the couple of hours of time that I have to relax, I go to the library and read. I love reading and I read about other people's lives. And then I come home and cook dinner and spend quality time with my family. And that is a very fulfilling life for me. I'm not, I don't answer to anyone anymore. Nobody. And that's taking control of your life. And believe me, you, if I can do it, you can do it. You can live frugally. You don't need to have all these expensive things. People think you need all this, ex you know, there was, you know, there was times when I didn't even have a phone, you know. You know how much phones are now? Like three to five hundred dollars for cell phones, you know. You can just get by with a flip phone, you know, when, like for thirty dollars. You don't need all these gadgets, doodads and gadgets, okay. You don't need it. You can live frugally. I get all my clothes in a thrift store. Yeah, I don't spend money. When I go into the regular department stores, it's like, what? They want, because I go to the thrift stores, I never heard of paying like $40, $50 for jeans. Are you serious? I might pay under $10, $7, $8 for jeans that look great. You know, they look awesome. A sweater under $10. I'm not going to spend like $50, $60.
on one sweater? I get Uggs, okay? I just want to show you. See these Uggs? These are real Uggs, all right? I've had them for a long time. I mean, I just didn't get them yesterday or last month. These Uggs, if you buy them new, are $200. $200. You know how much I paid for these Uggs? I mean, I've they're kind of dirty because I've been wearing them, you know, forever in a day. I wear them every day. They're like slippers. I don't even have to wear socks. They're that comfortable. I don't need, I don't need socks with them. $10 for these Uggs. I don't have to pay $200. That's what I'm trying to say. You can live through. I can have the brand name stuff for next to nothing. I get all the brand name stuff for next to nothing. See? So that's just a way that, you know, you can have it all. You know, you think like, oh, yeah, right, right, right. But if I'm sitting here and look at, I'm no better than you, right? Who am I? I'm just an average, you know, <laughs> middle-aged woman, right? There's nothing special, nothing extraordinary about me. And if I tell you, look, I'm making money doing what I'm passionate about and I'm living the life, you know, that I want. It's not that, you know, I don't own a yacht and going on vacation every six months or something like that. You don't have to. One of my, um, one person said, oh, I love your short videos. You went to Puerto Rico. You know, it's not expensive to go to Puerto Rico. It really isn't, you know. And, you know, just being in a warm tropical climate um, on the beach. You can go to Bermuda. You know, try to find um, bargain air, airfare. You know, you don't have to um, spend a fortune on a vacation either, you know. You can, you could just, you know, I don't, you know, Puerto Rico wasn't expensive at all. You know, it really wasn't. So that's what I'm trying to say. You can do it. Pursue your passions like your hobbies. What do you like to do on your, in your downtime? What do you like to do in your downtime? That's the thing you pursue. I know a lot of people who say they, they're, they love to, painting and they're artists. Um, then do it. Put it on your channel. You know, I look through some of my, um, some people who subscribe to me, I've looked on their channel and they don't have anything posted. You know, post things, you know, I'll do, I'll join and I'll watch. I'd love to see you guys, what you do. I mean, some of you have some creative stuff out there. That is wonderful. Share, you know who you are. She does some, like, awesome, she makes sense. Um, she does beautiful um, paintings, sketches, and very creative. She has, like, a whole living room full, if you watch one of her videos, of all her artwork in her living room. More people need to do that because people write in and they tell me, well, you know, I like to paint, I like to do this and this. But they don't put, but and they have a YouTube, too, you know. But they don't put any, um, nothing on their channel, do it, you know, I really want to see, you know, do it, look at me, I did karaoke, that's how I started this channel, just doing karaoke, and, and a lot of people said, you can't sing with this old hag singing, she can't even carry a note, are you kidding me, do you think I paid attention to them, no, I love doing karaoke, and so I did it, I sang and I dressed up. I love to dress up. I love makeup. I put on different wigs and I just, it was fun. It lifted my spirits. If you do something that you love, that you're passionate about, it will lift your spirits. You should do something like that every single day. You should take time out every single day and do something that you feel passionate about. Something that lifts your spirits, you know? Even if you're working that nine to five job, you got to say, I'm coming home and I'm going to do whatever it is that you love. We're, you know, we all love to create. You don't, you might not think you're an artist or something, but you are. Your medium might not be paint. Your medium might not be, you know, singing. I don't know what, what it is. Okay. You have to discover that yourself. Like I had to discover what my medium was myself. I try, just try all different things. You know, 
I tried to do painting. I did some paintings and I have no patience. None. Not <laughs> and when I wrote my books too, I think I have ADHD, you know. I just am very, very, I can't like concentrate too long and I get very jumpy and I want to go on to the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. Um, so to really stay on task for a long, long time is very difficult for me. I have, you know, zero tolerance for that. So I found a way, you know, to be able to channel all my energetic <laughs> craziness. I do these videos which are only like 20 minutes the most out of my day so I'm only like sitting here you know for 20 minutes talking to you but it's about time that we take back our lives because remember one thing this is very important now listen up it's not unlimited right I might wear this like infinity sign I love this I wear this infinity sign because life is about you know there's an inf infinite amount of possibilities you know out there but life is not infinite itself you know it isn't so you only get one life this one you me and everyone else don't know about the next one right we don't know what's gonna happen you can't say you did because you haven't died you know what i'm saying this is what you got now right here right now what are you doing it with it what are you doing with your one life right now what are you are you happy what do you love what are you passionate about i want you to pursue that i want you even if it's something small it doesn't have to be something grandiose you know i want you every day to do something that you feel passionate about and if you go I don't feel passionate about anything try different things you know try just try try different things you don't know I didn't know for years what I felt passionate about not until I got to be over 50 really I didn't I had no idea you know because I was too busy going through the motions waking up showering getting on a train going to, you know, an engineering firm, working nine to five, coming home at 5.30, making dinner, eating dinner, watching the show, going to bed, repeat, next day, repeat, weekends, doing all the grocery shopping, doing all the housework. Monday comes, repeat, repeat, repeat. I wasn't living, was I? I was just existing, just existing, you know? I don't want to just exist anymore. You know, my days are numbered. I'm, I'm going to be 60 in a year and a half. In a year and a half, I'm going to be 60. I'm 58 and a half. Do the math. 58 and a half, a year and a half, I'll be the big six. Ooh. And I don't want to be under that ground. You're going to be under that ground the rest, without saying, hey, I lived a full and meaningful life pursuing what I felt passionate about and I want and you can do that too I want you to do that too I want you to be able to get excited every day you know not dread Mondays like uh Monday really oh uh. no be excited do something there's another woman um, I subscribe to her name is Wendy and she said She's sick of living in the matrix. She's sick of working for other people, making other people money. She says she's an accountant, okay? So she makes good money. She works from home. She said she's going to sell her house. She has a house. She, she's she's going to, this year in 2024, she's going to sell her house and she's going to quit her job and she's going to get an RV or something and she's going to go visit other countries. And isn't that exciting? You know, that's a major overhaul, you know, major, major. Sell her home, quit her job, you know, and just get an RV and go out there on the road and travel, see other countries, you know. It's never too late. That's the thing. It's never too late 
to take control of your life. Never too late to take control of your life. What are you doing with your one, one beautiful life?